Hi, my name is Karina Bali, and this is a Nomia presentation on Bloom's Digital Taxonomy and how to apply this to the iPad in the classroom, taking into consideration the Common Core standards. Bloom's Digital Taxonomy consists of the revised Bloom's Taxonomy for the 21st century and the associated digital activities for each cognitive process. We have creating, evaluating, analysing, applying, understanding and remembering. And this is all connected to technological use and 21st century education. So let's take a look at the first cognitive process, which is remembering. And remembering is all about knowledge. And the key words are retrieving, describing, naming, recognising, locating, listing, finding and identifying. For example, in your lesson you might be identifying plants in your local habitat and your students can work from a project-based learning perspective connecting science and social studies. And the types of apps that they may use are Keynote, Strip Designer, Haiku Deck, Graphio and Docas. The next process is understanding and this one is all about comprehension and the key words are interpreting, explaining, exemplifying, inferring, classifying, comparing, summarising and paraphrasing. For example, your students can make a brochure or some kind of project based on the science lesson where they identified and labelled plants in their habitat. Possible iPad applications for this type of skill would be Pages, Strip Designer, MyCreate and Demibooks Composer. Now we're going to look at applying and this is all about application and the keywords are using, operating, carrying out, implementing, showing, exhibiting, playing and demonstrating. Students in this case can draw diagrams, mind maps or illustrations demonstrating what they have learned in the particular lesson. Possible iPad apps for this area is Keynote, Graphio, Poplet, Evernote, Docas, Tools for Students, Read and Respond, Slingnote and Ideas for Writing. Analyzing is next, which is all about analysis. And the keywords here are comparing, deconstructing, integrating, organizing, outlining, attributing, finding, and structuring. And here students can use mind mapping tools, 3D apps to, to assist with creating designs that can be constructed later. For example, they can draw a design for a bird feeding area in their outdoor habitat. The types of apps that they might use here is Home Design 3D, Kids Blocks, Kids Timber, Explain Everything, Nomia, Graphio, Sundry Notes and Sketchbook Pro. The next cognitive process is evaluating and this is all about synthesis. Keywords are checking, hypothesising, monitoring, testing, experimenting, critiquing, detecting and judging. Here we present work for teachers and students evaluation and this can be done via iPad apps where the students can be doing the work and the teachers can remotely add suggestions or see the results of testing. Possible iPad apps are eClicker, Socrative, MyCreate, Nomia, Explain Everything, Orasma, My Homework and Splashtop Remote. And these are fantastic applications because the teacher can be using their iPad or their laptop or their computer and the students can be using their iPads and all of these technological devices are connected together. So while the student is actually doing their work, the teacher can be observing what they're doing using their iPad or their laptop and make notes as they go along. It's really quite brilliant. Finally, we have creating. And this is about the very important aspect of evaluation and assessment. The key words are designing, constructing, making, producing, planning, 
inventing, devising and publishing. Depending on each student's multiple intelligences, students can present their work either by construction, digitally, creating a book, presentation, 3D models, design, etc. And the types of apps that we are looking at here is eBook Magic, Creative Book Builder, Keynote, Haiku Deck, Strip Designer, Nomia, Explain Everything and Erasma. Now clearly I've, these are just a few apps that I've suggested to you and there are lots more applications out there. Use these as a base and then find your own that you really like to use but I've just given you an overview to help you start in your classroom. I've created a course on Digital Learning Tree which is at www.digitallearningtree.com and iPad course and it teaches how to use iPads in the classroom to the K-12 Common Core Standards. Now in this course there are 12 lessons and a number of the lessons actually go through the types of things that you can use the apps in in your lessons and how you can actually use them to form a basis around the Common Core Standards. So I really suggest that you take a look at the course and uh, see if it's something that might help you bring your classroom into 21st century education. Thank you.